The book of Hosea is a pretty intense book, isn't it? In a culture where everyone is obsessed with being real and authentic in front of an audience, well, it doesn't get much more transparent than what Hosea endures for the sake of loving his wife. Hosea, through all the hurt and the pain that he carries, is still willing to buy back his wife who left him. Chapters 5 and 6 of Hosea are chapters speaking about the consequences of Israel and Judah's unfaithfulness in leaving God. Because of their incorporation of false gods into their worship, they were the unclean bride who accepted other lovers. Due to this spiritual prostitution, God would allow them to be given over to other nations to judge them. In fact, as Israel sees this destruction before them, rather than turning to God for deliverance, they turn to the nation of Assyria. Chapter 5 tells us all about it, but God wouldn't allow them to escape the judgment they brought upon themselves. And he says in verses 14 and 15 of chapter 5, For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, like a great lion to Judah. I will tear them to pieces and go away. I will carry them off with no one to rescue them. Then I will return to my lair until they have borne their guilt and seek my face. In their misery, they will earnestly seek me. It's only when Israel and Judah have tried and failed every one of their means to escape judgment that they will be willing to return to the one true God. Isn't their stubbornness a crazy thing to look out from the outside looking in? We see how good and compassionate God is towards his people, but they're willing to give it all away to chase after false gods. And even though God may allow his people to suffer the consequences of their sin, just like Hosea, he longs to be reunited with his people and to have a relationship with them once more. Well, in a world where people crave authenticity, Hosea is a story to all of us of God's love and intent for us to be redeemed and restored to a right relationship with him. I would say that's a pretty powerful message, wouldn't you?